Hey viewer, whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you're well. Um, I just wanted to explain about my condition. I have noticed that I've got a couple of subscribers now, which means nothing other than uh, a, if you're watching these things and they're helping you or in any way, great. Um, B, I now feel the need to look more presentable and brush my hair in videos because someone's actually watching them. Um, I always joke at the start and say, hey viewer, whoever you are, wherever you are, meaning one viewer, because <laughs> I thought I would only ever get one viewer. Um, and yeah, that's not, it's still under 10, but I'm surprised that anyone watches. Anyway, I thought I would explain a little about my condition. I have adult ADHD. Um, I'm not sure why it's called adult ADHD because I've had it all my life. I didn't develop it as an adult. Um, and the way I found out was um, through counselling. I actually went to a marriage counsellor with my ex-wife. Um, and after a couple of sessions, the counsellor um, said, can, I, I, I just want to do this little test. Can we do some tests? Uh, written and verbal tests um, because I think it will I have a hunch and it might explain how how you can't me, meaning me uh, have acted so we did the tests and they came up very positively ADHD and it was a bit of a shock actually um, A that someone could diagnose me with you know written and verbal test be they wasn't a doctor but you know uh, this person was qualified in certain things so i i ran with it and and i looked into it it's not something that ever ever occurred to me but i looked into it and it explained a lot of my behavior from birth a lot of the ways that i think and act and avoid things and you know I when I grew up at school and my reports always used to say you know could try better you know that close but no cigar it was always the general feeling that I could do a lot but I just couldn't be bothered or didn't do it on the day and so you know that's what I thought of myself but it turns out that the way I think and the way I am prevents me sometimes yeah I'm, I'm to be honest I'm still not convinced that my ADHD isn't just a, a name for an excuse to get out of stuff because <laughs> that's how it feels sometimes but uh, yeah anyway I looked into it and it explained a lot of my behavior it explained a lot of my social interaction which is why I was looking at a second divorce you know the way I behave the way I act um, and that's not to say I behave and act badly I behave and act in the way that I see fit to deal with my thoughts but that's not very compatible with most people um, anyway that's that's how I got that's how I found out and then through that I looked into it and I the, the, this counsellor said you can contact this part of the NHS the National Health Service and actually get proper diagnosis um, which I did it, it, and that was three years ago three and a half years ago now it was a long process mostly because there were massive gaps between each appointment but you know I went and got assessed and then I went and did some proper tests and then had physical and then went through a couple of rounds of drugs coming up for almost a year ago I started the first round of drugs which were not successful at all but I'll talk about those in a different video so you know it is official that I have ADHD um, again I'm, I'm not sure why it's called adult ADHD because I've had it all my life not sure if there's a difference between adult ADHD and child ADHD 
um, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. I wouldn't strike you if you knew me as someone who's hyperactive. I have jiggly legs, I'm always fidgeting. I have to hold something if I'm watching TV or doing anything that's technically relaxing in my mind. I have to hold a pen, a nice pen, and just play with it, or I will take my wedding ring off and fiddle with that, or my legs will jiggle, or something. But I'm not, I'm not bouncing off the walls, I'm not hyperactive in that way, and I don't think I'm affected by food or drink. My hyperactivity is in my brain. It just doesn't stop. Doesn't stop thinking, churning, which is why I don't sleep a lot, I think. Um, yeah, so that's, I can't remember the gist of how I started this. So I thought I would just explain why I'm doing these videos. And I'm basically doing them to talk to myself, depending on my moods, to, to just try and talk the moods out of me. Okay, cool.